Format string two. This program is not impressed by cheap parlor tricks like reading arbitrary data off the stack. To impress this program, you must change data on the stack. I've already downloaded the binary and the source. Our hint here says that pwn tools are very helpful for this problem. I actually created a Python virtual environment here in Python 3. And then in that virtual environment, I installed pwn tools. So this could be helpful for us. Let's go ahead and look at the code. So the code is going to say you don't have what it takes. It's going to ask me for input. Here is our printf format string vulnerability. Whatever I type, it's going to call printf without a format string. It wants this global variable sus to be 67616C66. And if we convert that to ASCII, you'll see that's flag in little Indian order. So if we make it be flag, it'll print the flag. So we have this global variable we need to change. We can find the address of this global variable using objdump. And we'll see that it is at this 64-bit address here. So my first connection, I started walking up the stack. So you can just connect to this ray pico ctf.net 54890. So you can sort of walk up the stack. And then I was trying to find my alphabet. And you can see here I haven't I haven't made it far enough. So I started automating this with this until here, when we get 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, you'll see we've actually found what we're looking for. And so you'll see here, these characters are my alphabet string. And again, this is 64 bits, so I'm not getting all of them because each parameter, my percent %x is only printing out 32 bits but each parameter is actually 64 bits. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you I, I modified this to use LLX to actually print out the 64-bit numbers. And now we see here this is exactly the first letters of the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and then these are the next eight letters and so forth. So that's pretty good. I've now found my string on the stack. I need to use percent %n to modify locations in memory. So percent %n will modify a location in memory with the number of characters printed so far. So in this one, I'm actually just as my next step trying to get the address of the variable sus. So I have the address of <clears throat> sus and then the address of sus plus 2 because I'm actually going to try to write it half of the number at a time, keeping in mind that it is in little endian order. Okay, so Okay, there it went. So you'll see that I got my two addresses, just what I expected. So now, what I'm going to do is you'll note before I had 18, 19, 20, 21. I'm actually going to pick up 20. So I'm actually going to pick up the 6, 2 so that I can uh, write the high part of the of the word because it's little endian so this will be the lower order bytes this will be the high order bytes i'm going to write those first the reason i'm choosing to write those first is because they're smaller so the high order bytes 6761 are smaller than 6666 because i'm going to write to memory the number of characters printed so far i need the number of characters so far which is could be increasing to do the lower number than the bigger number. So that's 6761 
is 26,465. So I'm going to take whatever's on the stack and print it out as a 26,464 digit number. And I'm going to leave that comma. That gets me to 26,465. You'll see now I've gotten the high order bytes correct, but I still don't have the low order bytes correct. So there was my format 2D. So in 2E, I'm going to try to get both the top and the bottom correct. Now I've changed this percent into HN because I only want to get 16 um, bits there. Then in order to get to the next number, which is 27,750, I need 1,285 more characters. So I get 1,281 from this, and then in order to keep everything lined up, I just replace the characters here with A's. Now we're going to spot 19, so we're getting the low lower address, and we're going to make that be right, and then it should give us the flag. And there you go. I have no clue how you did that. You must be a wizard. So we use the format string to modify that global variable half of it at a time, 16 bytes at a time with that percent HN.